Boom, boom, boom. Boom. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey. Yes, sir. You feel that? Look. Here, here. Boom. Boom. Okay. You move when you move in. Boom. Almost like the overhand. Boom. Your head's out here. Your hands up. Boom, boom, boom. 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 Cause I'm right here. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. You know what I mean? Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Then we throw the hooks, I'm coming on the boom. Then I go to the side, I twist here. It's all day, but still they can. Hit the bag. Boom, boom, boom. Awesome. Relax. That's Breathe. it. There you go. Breathe and relax. Beautiful. Especially when you're coming off being on your toes. Beautiful. Beautiful. Breathe. There you go. Nice. Nice. Beautiful. Good combo. Weave out of that. <laughs> Breathe. Get on your toes. to the side. Yeah, look at that. Keep fighting, come on.
A4, you know, it was okay, but you don't know what you got in store, baby. You gotta face the God of War. Day three, you still wanna fuck with me? He looks fierce. He looks like he would knock anyone out, which he probably would knock most people out. Day two, I'm getting ready for you. As the curtain rises on our story, leaked footage of Mike Tyson, age 57, electrifies the masses. The video, a montage of fury and focus, showcases Tyson's relentless pursuit of greatness. Undeterred by the passage of time, his fists, though weathered, strike with the same ferocity that once crowned him the youngest heavyweight champion. The juxtaposition is stark. On one hand, Tyson, a behemoth carved from the annals of boxing history. On the other, Jake Paul, a modern-day gladiator born of social media's frenetic energy, armed with ambition and a knack for controversy. The announcement of Tyson versus Paul sends shockwaves through the sporting domain. Tyson, seen occasionally leaning on a cane, reveals layers of vulnerability contrasted against his indomitable spirit. Struggles with sciatica in yesteryears only underscore the relentless toll extracted by Father Time. Yet amidst physical tribulations, Tyson's declaration of war on Paul's boxing aspirations ignites a beacon of intrigue. As legends like Manny Pacquiao and Conor McGregor weigh in, their words drip with a cocktail of concern and curiosity, painting a picture of a battle that transcends mere physical confrontation. Enter Jake Paul, the self-proclaimed problem child, whose path to pugilistic recognition is paved with controversy and conquests of varying credibility. His ambition, as unyielding as Tyson's punches, casts him in the role of the antagonist in this unfolding drama. Yet, beneath the veneer of bravado lies a strategic mind, acutely aware of the spectacle's financial and promotional windfalls. As Oscar de la Hoya voices caution, urging Paul not to underestimate the lion, even in winter, the narrative complexity deepens. Will Paul's hubris lead him to underestimate the sage's remnants of ferocity? Dana White, the orchestral conductor of the UFC's symphony, expresses a blend of paternal concern and reluctant fascination as he contemplates Tyson stepping back into the ring. Mike Tyson's expense? Do I like it? No, because I love Mike Tyson. I love Mike Tyson, you know, personally as a friend, and he's one of my favorite athletes of all time. Meanwhile, voices from the past and present, from Skip Bayless's skepticism to Eddie Hearn's lament, weave a rich tapestry of sentiment surrounding the fight. I, I know for a fact they are using 18-ounce uh, gloves and head guards, if I'm not mistaken. The chorus of boxing purists and modern enthusiasts alike speculates on the implications for Tyson's legacy and Paul's credibility. As the date approaches, Tyson's training footage, a testament to his undying warrior spirit, clashes with Paul's narrative of youth and vigor. The footage, a visual symphony of grit and determination, serves as a stark reminder. The heart of a champion knows no age. Paul's counter-narrative, a blend of confidence and calculated risk, underscores a generational battle where the stakes transcend the physical confines of the ring. Winning these fights and taking everybody down, at some point you're like, I'm unstoppable, I'm invincible. In the quiet before the storm, the documentary turns introspective. Tyson's legacy, a mosaic of triumph and turbulence, stands as a solemn reminder of the price of greatness. Paul's ascent, fueled by the digital age's ephemeral desires, poses questions about the nature of fame and the quest for authenticity in the gladiatorial arena of public opinion. 
As the final chapter of our tale looms on the horizon, the documentary posits a poignant question. What defines a fighter? Is it the accolades, the battles fought, or the spirit that refuses to yield? In the clash of iron and influence, Tyson and Paul epitomize the eternal dance between legacy and ambition, reminding us that in the ring of life, every fighter has their day. As we draw the curtain on this narrative odyssey, Iron and Influence stands not just as a chronicle of an impending bout, but as a meditation on the evolving landscape of combat sports. In the twilight of legends and the dawn of influencers, the ring remains a stage where destinies are forged, 